Brian, Brian and Vini. I'm so glad that I have a show like this in which I can just unleash my anger and fury upon the world and then okay. perhaps feel better afterwards. You know, Craig's one of those guys where he's going to find this funny yeah, because he's a horrible person. Absolutely. And that's why he goes to church every Sunday. Sure. Yes. I am not going to I am not going to say where we went to okay. get this because if I really unleash upon them, I need I need their help tomorrow. So I'll wait. Now, you guys mm -hmm. want a hint about where we went? Well, the hint is nobody there has any fucking idea what they're doing. Home Depot. I was looking for a Weber grill. Okay. Which has uh, you know, good reviews on the internet. Uh, sure. Four and three quarter out of five, and like a thousand reviews. People seem to like them a lot, and so we we bought the grill. You know, when you when you take off the thing on the propane tank, you're you know, there's the threads on the inside, and I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not. Okay, but when you have two threads that are both on the inside, well, something's wrong. They don't attach. They don't screw. Do you understand? Yeah. They don't screw into each other. It's Two vaginas is what's essentially happening. They, that is literally called the female under the host. Yes, the yes. Yeah. They got the absolute stupidest people the work there. They mislabeled the barbecue. They mm -hmm. put the wrong tag on the wrong barbecue. And so now I have a barbecue that doesn't work. God, is this that hard? Like, Jesus, God Almighty. The thing is right on the thing. I did not make a mistake here. This was not my fault. My wife was there with me. She's much smarter than I am. You also seem to have a fat lip. <laughs> Anything else you want to bring oh, up? God. God damn it, I got a fucking cold sore. Oh, sorry about that. Jesus Christ. Now uh, everyone's going to look at it the entire show. I thought you got in a you fight. Look at this fucking unsightly thing. Yeah, I got in a fight at the store with the grill guy. Yeah. yeah. I hit him with the fucking grill. Shall we get on with the wrestling review? Or oh, yeah. I can't wait to talk about this rampage after that. Really? This exciting hey. world-class <laughs> like, finale. I like the opener. Sure. Playing beat, I'm playing DJ tonight. Vinny, what in the fuck are you wearing? I'm with the uh, shirt and vest combo, which was, was in fact a thing in the 90s. We got Craig here, who appears to have, uh, he's Craig Corrosion. Yeah. The ultimate warrior. Da, 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 da. I'm wearing an Everclear t-shirt, one of my favorite bands from um, that decade. Granny actually has a special shirt on today, Granny. Granny is in her 90s. Yeah, would you like, kitties. yeah, she's in her 90s. That's how she's celebrating She's the dressed 90s. in the 1890s. I got my kitties on. You got your what? Kitties. Oh, your kitties? Yeah, that's not what you thought you said, Brian. Yeah. Oh, 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 I hate you. Do not come to my Q&A. Do not go to Wembley. Do not ever send a song in again. <laughs> you fucker. What's that lump on your head? Oh, it's your head. <laughs> Are you I sure it's not once that what's that lump on your neck? Oh, it's your head? No. You sure the joke is what's the lump on your head? Oh, it is your head. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she went back in and came out with a yellow uh, flower just for me. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. In the 90s, I used to buy $50 worth of glads, but it came in a little plastic baggie. <laughs> You're a horrible. It was kind of crazy, but I, I love him. Bye. All right, get out of here, Granny. Gret five. Happy nineties. I wish you wouldn't do that. What? The remind me all the time. No, we're doing a nineties, like the nineteen nineties. We're doing a nineties party. Oh, okay. It opened. Boy, how did it open? Adam Cole versus MJF. What a great freaking match this was. I began to uh, look up the best opening matches ever. I don't think it's as good as Bret and Owen. I don't think it was as good as Daniel Bryan and Triple H. Those are just mania matches. But for an opening match on a free TV show, you will be very, very, very hard-pressed to find anything better than this. He says he still has scores to settle, still has things to do. He doesn't know what he'll do or say until he has a mic in his hand. But he's got a lot of things to get off his chest. Can't wait. It'll be newsworthy. Can't wait for it, You know what's going to be? It's going to be a relief. It'll be it is. It'll be a relief for somebody like you. It ain't going to be a relief for me. I see. And it ain't going to be done. You but, kidding me? Yeah. But it would be nice if he was just a wrestler on a show like everyone else and we could just move on with our lives. Eddie Kingston. He is back to continue his never-ending war with Claudio Castagnoli. Outruns Omega. And the brawl he had with Takeshita was 
unreal. Who should appear to lay him out but Will Ospreay? And as we are fading to black, Excalibur says in one word, Oh, by the way, Will Ospreay's nothing on Rampage. I think that's a quote. The show was awesome. I was baffled by the uh, quarter hours. The last segment with the Elite and the BCC did 699,000 viewers. Mm. I don't know what the hell happened there, but you look at the actual quarter hours, and then you listen to the response from the crowd, and they are totally, completely, utterly different. So uh, I don't know if it was a one-week thing or what the hell happened. They usually do decline in the second hour, but uh, this was a much steeper decline than usual, and the main event fell a lot further than usual. It is now, I'm convinced, a rib on me that they are specifically and deliberately not ever referring to the dyad by their full names. There was one point where they do a double team, and the only name the Vic used was Reed. I do not know which one is Reed. I do not know if it's a first name or last name. He will be going to NXT next week. It will be fascinating to see how this show does, with Seth Rollins defending the world title against Braun Breaker on NXT. You know the worst part of my job is? is is knowing that there's going to be a bunch of geeks on the internet accusing me of being sexist because I happen to bury all of the acting in all of the women's segments, particularly the women. But, dude, I don't know what to tell you. If you watch this segment and you think that I'm being sexist for telling you that it sucked, like, I don't know what to tell you. A true champion overcomes great odds to reach the pinnacle of their potential. I'll keep evolving adapting, and channeling the spirit of the Morrigan to raise me up from these defeats and to soar once more over the battlefields of NXT. Fuck you. Fallon says, look, you gotta watch your back. And she leaves. And so Gigi, alone in the room, does a true monologue. I will watch my back. And I'll teach Kiana why you don't mess with a reject. The show is shit. Do you realize that, Brian? I can watch this whole fucking show. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, like even the good stuff isn't that good. And of all people, to make me feel like I'm watching a pro wrestling show, Baron Corbin, do not watch NXT. Thumbs down. Yeah, this thing's got to turn around quick, bro. It's got to turn around. It's got to. I can't. I cannot watch NWA TNA and this NXT. <laughs> I just can't. I'll explode. I can't. On here, here live on camera, I'll go boom. <laughs> it's just not possible. Either NXT needs to get better or NWA needs to be better than I remember. Well, that ain't happening.